guys or girls that uh, do this lifestyle and they don't have a shower in their rig, I applaud you. You're stronger than me. But I'm gonna tell you something. Having a shower is like, especially when outside looks like this. Snowy cold wonderland. I'm still able to have a shower mobile. <laughs> this is awesome. out from uh, Clearwater BC which uh, I'm basically just gonna get some groceries and then head into Wells Gray. I spent the day yesterday just uh, hanging out in the camper in Belmont. I didn't move at all I just uh, I was not feeling good. Today I'm feeling a bit better not much but uh, I gotta try to do something because I don't want to waste this whole trip right? <laughs> so all right I'll see you guys at the first waterfall. Kind of had to make my own parking. Had to make my own parking spot. It's all good. I've actually never seen these falls in the winter, so this should be interesting, actually. I've been here before in the summer and they look spectacular. So I imagine they'll look spectacular right now too. one I really really want to show you is a lot closer to the end of this road supposedly uh, during the winter it gets like a big dome around it where the water falls in it looks so cool and I've seen pictures of it but I've never seen it in person so let's head over there and get a look at it I think Dawson Falls is on the way so we'll stop there too I guess
bit deeper in here. There's quite a bit more snow out here. Okay, we're here. Let's go check out this waterfall. Oh, I can't wait to show you this. <laughs> I'd have to say, that's probably one of my favorite waterfalls. <laughs> so cool. So that cone around it, that's all just ice formed from the mist from the waterfall. So cool. I don't know where I'm staying tonight. When I was driving down here, any of the spots that I was thinking of staying out by here, they ended up being uh, super snowed in. So I'm thinking either stay at that spot in Valemont again or drive all the way back to Hinton tonight and uh, stay around there. Yeah, this will be my last night uh, camping out here. So yeah. Well, that was cool. I've always wanted to see that. So I think the only place left to go to is Dawson Falls. And I'm going to see what the parking looks like there. Um, it's not that I'm... It's, it's a cool waterfall to see in the summer. I will say that. It's really, really, really cool. But uh, I don't know. I'm okay with not seeing it today if I don't have to. We're at Dawson Falls now. Um, I actually, I came in here and the actual parking lot, it's not plowed and it hasn't been plowed. So I started driving up and I see that there's tracks into there and I'm like, oh, maybe you can get in there and just park. And then I seen this little car in there and three people running around with a snowboard and some floor mats. So of course I knew what was going on. I, um, uh, just got on my truck, shut it off, went to the back, grabbed my traction boards, which by the way, they work better than I ever thought they would. Like, wow, that actually, that got them out there like nothing. It took us maybe uh, like 10 minutes and he was out of there. Just uh, basically um, turned around there and then uh, drove right through. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my good deed for today. Hopefully that's good karma. <laughs>
can get right up close and personal at this waterfall. I wouldn't recommend going any farther than this because that's ice right there. And I'm sorry, you fall in there. You'll be really cold and yeah, not good things will happen to you. You're going over the falls. This is why you could do good deeds. Because you get cookies. Now if there's one thing I really like is cookies. And also Krispies! That was really nice of them. <laughs> they didn't have to leave anything, but yeah. I know if I was in the same situation, I would have wanted someone to come up and help me and I'd be really grateful. <laughs> menu is steaks and potatoes. Uh, I've had the potatoes in the fridge for a little while here so I just need to get rid of them. So I'm gonna make like something nice in a little pan with some bacon bits on them. Yeah sorry if I sound funny I'm still a bit stuffed up from my cold. All right let's get to it. We'll let that cook for about 30 minutes and that should be good to go. While we wait for the potatoes to cook, we'll season up the steaks. They've got a nice marble to them actually. I cooked it too long. Yeah, she's well done. Oh, she's about medium rare. That is some good cow. I can say that. Ow. Ow. There we go. Ow. Okay, the reveal. I'll admit, my presentation needs some work.
I'm really glad to show you guys uh, Wells Gray and Valmont and uh, Valley of the Five Lakes. I definitely think Valmont's a very underrated place. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous here. Like just Kinbasket Lake, watching the sunset from there is absolutely unreal, especially in like early spring because uh, usually the water's really low and you can basically camp uh, right on the, almost on the lake bed, but it's more of like, uh, it's all still like gravel and it's pretty dry. So you won't sink out of sight in it. But uh, yeah, watching the sunset there is like unreal. All I have left to do is basically make my way back tomorrow and then uh, that'll be about it. I think uh, I might stop in Jasper and do a hike tomorrow, but We'll see about that. That's a far stretch. Uh, I do have some stuff I got to get done for the work week. And then uh, snow next week in Whistler's looking kind of good. So fingers crossed. If that's the case, then I'll probably be heading to Whistler next week. And yeah, finally get some more snowboarding in. I haven't gotten, I haven't gotten snowboarding once this month, which has really not been great. <laughs> The whole idea of this was to get out snowboarding more, but uh, yeah, it's kind of hard when you ha when uh, no matter where you want to go snowboarding, it's about a three hour drive, no matter what. And then the one place that is three hours away, they never get any snow, so you don't like really going there. Yeah, it's 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 a difficult one. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I can't wait to take you on the next adventure, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.